Good day and welcome back to my channel. So this is the final installment in the IL-2M3 storm event. Uh, in here, we're going to go through doing the painting, the final detailing, the weathering, and then you know the, the final result of the kit. Um, good kit. Great kit. Um, as a modeler, I still have a lot of work to do. Uh, a lot of techniques that I still need to get better at. Um, and they'll show themselves as we get through here, but this is how we end up treating this one. So let's just go ahead and get into the final build. All right, so there's a lot of different paint schemes used on the Sturmovic, and they were pretty much done in the field. Um, they didn't lay out templates. They weren't precise and very they, they didn't follow the same kind of precision as some allies like the I'm not gonna say anal British but you know the the British pattern whatever so I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the style there on the right the white 24 because I like the color combination and I hit it first with the tan then overlaid it with the green and I'm using this um, AK putty which I really really like it does a really nice job of masking up it's easy to use doesn't leave residue and I can get my nice complex shapes and, and that works out pretty well. Um, by doing that, then I can go ahead and, and then they just, you know, peel right off and it gives me the color scheme I want. The bottom is a sky gray. So it sort of, you know, it matches up. Is it perfect? No, but it does give, you know, a nice representation and it's, it's matches for what I was looking for for my eye. And because I'm not going for something specific, that's, kind of where I'm going and that's where I am all right and with the base painting done it's time to go ahead and get into the um the transfer placement you know again most of I haven't done the majority of the landing gear yet I have not done the little detail pieces yet those are all going to get put on and painted separately once I get them dropped in um I do have the can the over canopy it's sitting over there still um it's still in this green the the colors came out eh, kind of the way i wanted probably should have had another stripe of black down through here but um i kind of like the way it's looking um you know i know this isn't i don't know accurate whatever uh but i'm leaning it and this is kind of it it's it will look i like the way it looks for me so i'm not gunning for specific historical accuracy um i will go ahead and take the transfers we have i'll drop them on um and then once that's done we'll go ahead and get into the weathering which is all of the fun stuff that that comes to it so looking forward to doing that well let's get the transfers on get that sealed and then we'll get into um putting the final the final detail parts on and then weathering all right well the base painting and the transfers are done um, ran into more than a minor issue with the transfers. Come on, there we go. From 1997, it is 2023, so that makes them what 26 years 26 years old. They fell apart. Well, they started to fall apart, and so I decided to only go with the stars, the number, and the for for Leningrad mark um so got those down they're sealed now and I'm going to go ahead and get to doing weathering um so I figure what we'll do here right what's left what's left to assemble are the little detail pieces like the gun uh, gun barrels need to paint the intake um also need to put the aerial antenna and then the um gun and landing gear so the landing gear i will go ahead and put on after i've weathered it because i i think i'm just going to break this stuff the way I'm, I'm i've been fumble fingered the last year so putting in the landing gear and put the landing gear together cool thing about this is the landing gear are provided with both full tires and weight on wheels so obviously i will go with the weight on wheels 
Um, but that's just a matter of putting that assembly together and dropping them in. That actually isn't going to be, well, hopefully won't be too difficult. I've also got the um, upper canopy, and I intentionally left this canopy off because I'm going for a summertime look. So I'm going to go ahead and have that just setting back back with that open and this open. Um, we'll have the canopy off. The armament, or not armament, I'm sorry, the ordnance. Working on doing those. So it's just detail painting at this point. Um, so essentially I am now to weathering and that's what will be next. Um, as I always do, I will start on the bottom. Um, actually, I'm sorry. What I, what's next up is chipping. So there will be all the chipping that will be necessary all around all the panels and everything. I'm going to do a little bit of looking things up to see just how much it was chipped up, but I'm thinking they were pretty well beat up and what's appropriate, what's not. And then once that's done, we'll get into flipping this over and then starting all the weathering that needs to happen. So that should be fun to do. So we'll go ahead and we'll get into that next. But that's where we are so far. So for chipping, I kept it pretty minimal, um, mostly using the sponge technique. A little bit of dot work around some of the panels, but I really didn't overdo it. Um, I wanted to keep it moderately light, and that's pretty much what I did. So once I got that done, I moved on to oils. So I'm really struggling with the oils, and I know it's me. Um, it's just got to be the way I'm working them. Um, it's probably the paint. It's probably the oil paint I'm using. It's, and so I, I think I'm going to try getting some Winsor Newtons and see if that does, makes a difference. You'll see that I found that um, I was really struggling getting them to clean off well, and that's probably my technique. Eventually I got it to work out, um, but it took a whole lot of effort. It looks much better on the darker colors, I think just because I've got room to make mistakes, and it, it hides it better. I did go back and use the lighter colors, and those worked really well, and I feel it's because it's the oil brushers. So that's what makes me think it's really the oils I'm using is the problem. And after that, it was just a matter of putting on the final detail pieces. You know, the antenna, the cannon, putting the landing gear together, which is very straightforward. It was like two, really, they went in very easily. Um, and then that was pretty much it. That's all that was needed. And with that, this IL-2 Sturmovic from Accurate Miniatures is done. Um, as always, there are a lot of things that I feel like I could do differently slash better. And... I will, well, I am, as with every build that I do, try to do some of those things each time. Um, in this case, you know, the, the kit itself was nice. It went together well. Um, this is the Accurate Miniatures one. I'm trying not to break things here. Right, Accurate Miniatures. And it's it's actually pretty nice, especially for a 148th. Um, there are a lot of things that you could add to improve and there's not a lot of, um, well, at least I didn't see, but I also wasn't looking for like resin upgrades and things like that. And I, I'm kind of of the opinion that I like, if you're going to upgrade, if you're going to do some of that, learn to do some of that stuff with, with what you have, you know, kind of, kind of do it yourself. Um, the, I still struggle with the way I weather really light colors. So I think the, the next build that I have is actually going to be a light colored model. So I'm going to have to get better and better with that. Um, the darker shades, I'm getting happier with the layout or with the way I get them dirtied up and modeled. I'm still, still not a fan of the whole pre-shading thing. And I think part of it is I'm not a fan of the airbrush. So maybe that'll also be something I get into later. Um, I do like this aircraft. The, the plane itself is pretty iconic. Um, and the build comes up pretty nice. So this will look, I have a couple of other Soviet aircraft on my plane or on my plane or on my, uh, display shelf. Um, I've got the, uh, I can't even remember what they are now. Um, so anyway, this is about this kit. As always, I will finish this off with, um, 
pictures that I've taken of this. I was originally going to do the antenna with Easy Line, but I don't have Easy Line. I don't know where it went. Um, I did find, and this is, I think I mentioned it during the build, but I will mention it here. This piece right here, when you're taking the fuselage pieces off, or even when it's in the box, that is, that's molded on both halves of the fuselage, so that join is really weak. That broke. Um, I did fix it with UV resin, and I found that UV resin is is really a good solution for a lot of things like that, where you have to butt two pieces together, and, they, and that connection has to be strong. That actually works out to be a really good option. Um, had the same problem with one of the wheels because of the strut. Um, there's a point there where you have to remove the pieces between the strut, and no matter how careful you are, it's really hard to not get the nub that goes into the wheel. Um, so again, fix that using UV resin once I got the flat part of the wheels aligned. And that, again, made a nice, strong joint. With that, um, I will go ahead and bring this video to a close, this build to a close. We'll move on to the next. I hope this uh, return back to modeling from my vacation was an entertaining little process for folks to follow. I hope this was helpful for those who are interested in this particular kit. And, you know, until next time, I really appreciate you joining me. Happy modeling.